Caribbean Sea is a lifeline for millions of people. They depend on its health for food security, jobs, and livelihoods. Yet this ocean wealth is under threat. Decades ago, many Caribbean beaches and seashores were pristine. And now, waves of plastic waste often wash up on the shoreline, especially after a big storm. Entire marine ecosystems and the natural assets that these countries depend on are being undermined by marine pollution, which includes plastics, sewage, agricultural runoff, and oil. Caribbean small island nations are particularly vulnerable. Marine pollution directly affects their economies and livelihoods. It decreases tourism while also affecting human health. Climate change is creating even more pressure on people and their communities. This amplifies the impact of marine pollution and the urgency to support healthy oceans. The Caribbean region is among the first to move toward a blue economy, a pathway to help these countries drive sustainable growth while also protecting marine and coastal resources. For many countries, reducing marine pollution, and especially plastics, is a top priority. About one-third of Caribbean countries have already banned plastic in some form, from grocery bags to styrofoam cups. Many countries are joining this monumental first step to combat marine pollution. Tackling marine pollution requires a suite of solutions, starting with robust analytics that inform investments and policy reforms. We need to continue raising awareness while developing partnerships and promoting innovation. These steps are crucial to developing the resilient blue economy that people depend on. Together, we can create a blue legacy for the Caribbean. There is no time to waste.